Uh, right now, so of course we're gonna talk about our week five. Uh, oh man, I messed it up. Week six. <laughs> of course we're gonna talk about our week six picks this week. Uh, talk about, and I guess we gotta talk about Thursday night's game. The it's Buccaneers, slacking. Tampa Bay Gronkineers are coming to Philadelphia, <laughs> and they're playing the Eagles on a short week at eight twenty. <laughs> Luckily, I'm not. I'm gonna miss half this game because I'm going to see a premiere of Halloween Kills Thursday night. So it kind of works out, so I don't have to see most of it. I just you gotta go, see the end of. You gonna know, get out the theater? It's gonna be the third quarter. It's gonna be forty-five to six. You gonna be like, oh shit? Yeah, I'm glad, gonna, I, glad I wasn't watching this game. You gonna drive home? When you get home, it's gonna be five minutes left in the fourth quarter. It's gonna be fifty-five to six. You be like, oh shit? Oh shit! <laughs> I know it. I know what's gonna happen. But, but, but. I did say that the same thing about when they played the Chiefs, and they actually played them kind of well. So That's who true. knows? Maybe they'll play up to the competition. The defense played really well last week. I'm still picking the Buccaneers in this game. Yeah, like even whenever they played the Patriots and the Patriots played them tough, I I still picked the Buccaneers in that game. I thought exactly. the Buccaneers were going to Exactly. Their Dude. defense oh. is very shaky. I think the Eagles, if they have a good game plan, and that's a big old yeah. if. Big old if. Tom they could Brady get some points the league. But, in um, yards right now, though. Yeah. Tom Brady leads the league in yards. Exactly. So, I mean, if Darius Slay and Steven Nelson are the corners that they, they made themselves out to be this past week, hopefully they can that can kind of stop them. It helps Gronk isn't out, is out. He's not playing. Right. Um, so, hopefully, they, they just have to rely on their receivers. Who knows? Who knows what could happen? I'm still picking the Buccaneers, though. Hopefully, the Eagles can win. But I'm still picking the Buccaneers. Exactly. Me too. Um, next game here on Sunday, Dolphins and the Jaguars. This is a hard game to pick, man. Look at this. This is in London. So this is their fucking... 930. Two London games and the Jaguars, Jaguars. get their home game. So London's shit. like, it finally, Jaguars are back. Jacksonville. <laughs> this is tough because I, I really don't want to pick the Jaguars to win this game because I just said Detroit's going to get a win before him. I know. I kind of want to pick the Jaguars to win it too. Oh, man. Trevor Lawrence gets his first win in London. Miami Dolphins suck. The three and, Miami's three-and-a-half-point favorites. I'm actually – I'm going back on what I said a little bit ago. I'm going to pick Jacksonville in this game. I'm going to pick Jacksonville as well. I think they get it They get it done. Urban Meyer is like, yeah, and he do, goes and gets a pint after the game. He doesn't fly back with the team. He just sits No, there he's going to stay and mess around with some London girls. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> next game here, the Packers and the Bears. Green Bay are four and a half point favorites. Uh, and this one is at Soldier Field in Chicago, but I don't think that's going to matter. Aaron Rodgers, Batman, so. he going to get dubbed. This is the type of game that normally would be a knuckleball game if you just look at the names of the teams playing, yeah. but it's not. It's it's going to be a, a shellac. And the Packers, yeah. even if it's close, if the Packers don't put up like 20, 28 points or something like that, the Bears might only get 17, something like that. So Still going up against a rookie QB. I mean, that Bears defense is good, but you also got Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, Aaron Jones. And and they know the Bears very well. So exactly. Aaron Rodgers is going to win that game. Yeah, so I definitely going with the Packers on that one. Uh, Bengals and the Lions here. I'm picking the Bengals. Yeah, I, I got to said, I know what I just said about Jacksonville, but I'm going to pick the Bengals in this one. I think the Bengals are too good right now to lose to a Lions team like this. Um, even yeah. with Dan Campbell's crying, like, the Bengals are too good right now. Bearing anything happening to Joe Burrow, he's going to be getting the ball to Jamar Chase like it's nothing, like they're back in LSU, and it's going to be yeah. awesome. Yeah, <laughs> Uh, I mean, that's just going to strengthen his case even more for Rookie of the Year, too. Mm -hmm. uh, next one here, Texans and the Colts. I'm picking the Colts in this one. Yeah, it's hard not to pick the Colts. Even though they, uh, the Texans put up a hell of a game against the Patriots there, yeah. the Patriots aren't very good right now. So the Colts aren't either. Don't get me wrong. It looks like you can get tickets for this game for as low as $22. But... <laughs> <laughs> but with that being said, Jonathan Taylor's a beast. I think yeah. that the Colts and Carson Wentz is kind of getting his footing as far as like running that offense. So I'm going to yeah. pick the Colts on this one as well. Okay. Uh, next one, Rams and the Giants. Lock of the week, a pick of the Rams. Lock of the week. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm picking the Rams too, but I don't think that's the lock of the week. You don't think so? Rams against the Giants without Danny, no, John, Danny Dimes? 
the next game here is the lock of the week. Chiefs and Washington. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I think I'll, Kansas City whoops up on the football team. Okay. They get I'm back in Kansas City as well. They can't just keep sliding. They're going to get right back in their wooded ways. I don't know if Tyree Kill's going to have a great game or not, but Pat Mahomes will. He's going yeah. to lead the league in touchdowns right now, even with the shitty performance that he had the last couple weeks. So Pat mm-hmm. Mahomes and these Chiefs get it done in Washington. Yeah. I, I'm picking them as well. So the Rams then, and then the, the Chiefs. Uh, Vikings, Panthers. I'm picking the Vikings in this one. Yeah, this is gonna. This will be a knuckleball game. You think this so? This will be a 22-24 type of game here. Like I'm, I'm going to pick Minnesota as well, but I think that'll be a really close game. Okay. Uh, Chargers and the Ravens. This is a oh 1 o'clock game. God. This should have been a primetime game. This should be a primetime game, not the Steelers and the Seahawks. I know. Uh, oh, this is a hard man. one. Baltimore are three-point favorites in this one. Uh, and it's it's at M&T Bank Stadium, too, in, uh, in Baltimore. This is tough, bro. I'm, I'm picking pick, the Chargers. I was going to say, I'm going to pick whoever you don't pick. I'm picking Baltimore. I'm picking the Chargers. I know me and you just gloated over, like, we've been just kind of – Hyping Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens up. But like I said, they've been kind of playing slow to start out, you know, kind of. And then they kind of have to play their way out. I think the Chargers are a team you don't want to do that against. Exactly. Uh, It's it's not going to be just as easy to come back on these motherfuckers. Justin Herbert has a mission right now. Exactly. I mean, I I honestly think the Ravens could win as well, but I, I'm picking the Chargers to win this one. Completely understand. I'm just going to pick the Ravens on that one because that's a coin flip to me. I think either one of them could win that game. Yeah. Uh, Cardinals and the Browns. Damn, bro. Another fucking good-ass game. Yeah. I'm rolling uh, with my boys, Arizona. I'm rolling with Arizona all year here, baby. Let's go until they lose a game. Arizona all year. I'm rolling day. with the Cardinals, too. How could you not? How could you not? Because even if Cleveland puts up 40 points on them, you know, the Cardinals and Kyler Murray are capable of coming back. You know, yeah. especially, and you know that the Browns are liable to let them come back because we've seen this shit. So yeah. I'm going to go with Arizona. The Browns are very good, but they're going to end up 3-3 three and three after this week. Yeah. Uh, Raiders and the Broncos. I'm going to pick the Broncos in this one. Yeah, and I feel like we have a lot of the same picks here, but I'm going to pick Denver in this one as well, just because it's looking pretty tumultuous in L.A. or Las Vegas right now. So, mm-hmm. And it's in mile high. Teddy Bridgewater's back and he's playing. I'm going to roll with Denver in this one. All right. Uh, Cowboys and the Patriots. Dallas are four-point favorites. I'm picking the Cowboys in this one. Sorry, See, bro. It's okay because my brain is saying Dallas. It's in Foxborough, too. Pick Dallas. But my heart, my heart is Just saying. pick them Patriots? Pick the Patriots. Listen, so, I would love nothing more for you than your Patriots to beat these Cowboys. I would love it. The brain is telling you that the Cowboys are going to smash us. You know what I mean? But I'm going to pick the New England Patriots in this game. I'm going to stick okay. with my boys. We're going to beat Dallas in Foxborough. Mac Jones going to get his first win over the Cowboys. Let's go. So I'm rolling with. New England Patriots in this. <laughs> okay. Um, Seahawks and the Steelers on uh, primetime. I'm picking the Steelers in this one, especially with Russell Wilson out. Same, man. I, it's hard to pick Seattle right now. I know Ben Roethlisberger and the Steelers aren't really great, but and their offense ain't great. They just lost Juju. But the Seattle seems to be in more of a, a rut right now as far as injuries and things like that go. So I'm definitely picking Pittsburgh. Absolutely. In Pittsburgh. And definitely in Pittsburgh, yeah. Uh, Monday night, Bills and the Titans. Ooh. Oh man, I don't Both care how five and a half point favorites. I don't care if Derek Henry gets four hundred yards. Josh Allen and the Bills are winning this game. It's in ten- Nashville, Tennessee. Don't matter. I'm picking the Bills as well. <laughs> don't even matter. Buffalo's winning this game, man. They're on a fucking torrent <laughs> right now, trying to re- roll through all these teams and prove that they are the real deal. I'm picking the Bills as well on that one. Uh, but that's the, the the lineup here for week six. That's the picks. Mm-hmm. As far as the uh, bye weeks, we had the Falcons, the Saints, the Jets, and the 49ers all on a bye this week. Okay. Yeah, but that's, that's like the first week for the bye weeks, mm-hmm. it seems. Oh.